As we say each and every time we do this show, it's not just about racing, but it's about a way of life that's special, one of a kind to Central Kentucky. One of the many ways that way of life is unique is the financial support that so many community organizations get from Keeneland and its horsemen. Deanne Stevens joins us now to introduce us to a Keeneland partner that's making art happen. It can be seen and heard everywhere. The arts in Lexington. From colorful murals brightening the city streets to several different initiatives, some that may expose underserved children to orchestra music, others that actually give them the chance to play that music. And much of it falls under the umbrella of LexArts. LexArts has two complementary missions, really. One is that we serve as the United Arts Fund for Lexington Fayette County and, in fact, most of Central Kentucky. And we raise money for the arts through our annual campaign, the Fund for the Arts campaign. Nan Plummer is new to LexArts and even new to Lexington. She says this is an exciting time as the city is discovering the arts scene. Once I got here, I really felt it. It's really ready to become an arts destination and because it's already being recognized as one by the people who live here. Here in Lexington, from the, from the vantage point of LexArts, I get to participate in and help organizations across the artistic spectrum. It's really an amazing variety for a city this size, and that was a real draw. As the single largest contributor to many major art organizations, Plummer says LexArts support raises the profile of all the arts around town. We support with general operating funds, the Lexington Philharmonic, the Living Arts and Science Center, the Lexington Children's Theater, Central Kentucky Youth Orchestra, and the Lexington Art League. Really wonderful, uh, diverse arts programming all across the community. Plummer says no matter the involvement of LexArts or any organization for that matter, a foundation can only take you so far. It must be embraced by the community. She is certain Lexington is doing just that. I see Lexingtonians talking about the arts in their city with great pride. The murals, the established companies, theater, lots of things here make people very, very proud. It's already becoming the place where the arts are a part of the casual fabric of conversation, not just among artsy people. 